We're all mothers up here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's like this powerful reminder that you kind of set the tone for your children. If they see you taking care of yourself, they will kind of understand that that's a priority. Mm -hmm. I'm curious for both of you as moms, how do you teach self-care to your children? Oh my God, that's like the toughest job on the <laughs> planet. Um, my 15 and a half year old, she watches TikTok and she hides her redneck, you know, scrub face wash. Right. You know what I mean? Like in, in her, like underneath her desk, so I won't find it. She told me that I don't know anything, but I will, <laughs> the fact I will that try to. Meanwhile. <laughs> right, right. But the fact that, I mean, this has been like an ongoing trend where you have like 14 year olds, 15 year olds being influenced by these skincare yeah. creators on TikTok and they're using retinol and all of these really harsh ingredients for their young baby skin. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, their skin, it's not done. It's not like ripened, you know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. still this like a green face that like, yeah. oh my God, you're gonna cause oxidation at this point. But yeah, you know what she believes in, what she believes in, and I try to let her explore. However, like some, some ingredients are no, some ingredients are yes, no medication, you know what I mean? Like nobody suffers from hormonal acne for the rest of their life. And I have to continue to kind of encourage her, hey, it's gonna end. I know it sucks so bad, but don't pick. Every time you pick, because my daughters are biracial, so every time you pick, you're gonna get brown spot and then possibly a scar tissue. So just know that what's gonna happen when you do that. And then, you know, she, she's she's getting it. She's getting there. But yes, she still have retinol, like a retinoic cleanser hidden corner of the bathroom. <laughs> that just worries my yeah. heart. I feel like as boy moms, we don't have to worry about that as much. But we have other things to worry about. Yeah, like not washing it. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, bro. Um, I just, you know, right now, my son plays basketball. He's nine years old. And, you know, he, he doesn't know everything, but he's getting to that age, and I'm just like, dear Lord, please just hold my peace. I just, <laughs> please let me know when to talk. Cause he know he wants to talk all the time, and I just need to know when to whatever. So um, when I'll knock on the door, and I'm like, Titan, did you bathe? And he's like, Yes. I was like, Did you clean under your no? Did you clean under your armpits? Yes, mom. Did you um, wash your hair? No. <laughs> I was like, You know, did you wash your face? And then he won't say anything, and I just like crack the door open, and he's like, Mom. And so the face is dry. All, all of this is, has soap all the way down. It's just soap. And this is just, I'm like, baby, please. I was like, your face is just so handsome. You know right, what I mean? Right. Like, let's just keep that really good. And he's just fine, you know? But right. I still want him to understand, like, how taking care of himself as a man yes. is a very good trait to have. I was like, you don't want to smell like feet, bro. Right. Yeah. So right. he understands yeah. that. Clearly, but sometimes he just smells like me. <laughs> <laughs> the joys of being a boy mom. Yes. <laughs>